evening to all the distinguished guests who have gathered here. It was an interesting topic. We always used to say <coughs> when uh, solar was invented in 1954 as per the statistics and uh, in 1984 the first commercial plant was installed in Germany and in India in 2000 six, seven, eight. There was a time that it just popped up here. And we all woke up as if the sun came the previous night only. It has taken so many decades to come to India. And uh, people like us, entrepreneurs, when we entered into this uh, clean energy business, we jocularly say, I still remember at that time, the power was sold at rupees 18 rupees per unit. <coughs> PPAs were signed for 18 rupees per unit. The project cost was also 18 crore per megawatt. So, what we thought, you know, we miniaturized our requirement. So, we will go for kilowatt rather than, you know, megawatt. Megawatt means it's too big for a startup. And uh, <clears throat> we started entering into it. Of course, I have a background uh, in the energy field. I was working in Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited in the thermal power plant uh, division and nuclear power plant division. And I came out of BHL, then I just entered into this um, entrepreneurship. <clears throat> so we jokingly say at that time, all young entrepreneurs who wanted to enter into this because this was easily adaptable by an entrepreneur. The buyer does not know what he wants to buy. The seller does not know what he is selling. The government also was not knowing what to control. And it was a free-for-all in the dark room, to be honest with you from the entrepreneur's point of view. But it slowly it picked up very fast. I still remember we have been exposed to various developments taking place around the globe. But something was understood by all the entrepreneurs that Everything is of the same. Anybody can enter. Anybody can do this solar. And the best advantage is the buyer does not know about solar. This happens even today. Sorry to say, that is a reality. The ignorance of the buyers are taken into advantages. And what really happened it was moving from one phase to another phase and slowly the cost of the solar panels were coming down. The inverter cost was also coming down. Cable cost was also coming down because they were manufactured in large numbers. Structures, fixed structures, there was that type which was also going on. Basically, <coughs> Energy efficiency, if we talk, you all know that there are four type of energy efficiencies. One is energy generation efficiency, energy storage efficiency, energy transmission efficiency, and energy consumption efficiency. But we have all been witnessing energy efficiency means mostly it is energy consumption efficiency. <coughs> Little was focused on the energy generation efficiency, in my opinion. I do not know. Perhaps you can also throw more light on that after completing my full <coughs> presentation. So in the energy generation efficiency, if you are able to increase the 
cost of the power comes down, the investment cost comes down, and it becomes competitive. So how to make a solar photovoltaic solar power be more competitive, and it all started in our company, just to be competitive than my compatriot, that's all. I, we never thought that we would land up in an invention which would bring down so much of cost in a power, which would bring down the investment cost down, which would also fuel the hydrogen generation because everybody is now focusing on hydrogen generation and the cost of the hydrogen fuel. Now the target is one dollar per kg. That is what is the target with which some big companies are also working. What is the cost today? Maybe four dollars <throat> per, per kg. And some of the inventions are taking place around the globe even to convert the hydrogen conversion that efficiency is also being improved upon and they are also they have been reducing. So here we started focusing how to bring down the cost of the major power that is required to generate green hydrogen, the solar power, the solar photovoltaic power. So we have been using <coughs> solar photovoltaic power generation using only one type, majorly fixed tilt type. One simple principle which you all know, it's a simple physics, which is simple science. When the sun ray falls vertically on the solar panel, it generates maximum. When the sun ray is getting tilted, the proportionately the power comes down. So what does it mean? We have everything. We cannot make sun to be at one place. Or we have to do some other methods. What is to be done? All the efficiency improvement in the world has been only on the solar cells. They never concentrated on the tracker. For many reasons. Tracker, once it is put, it increases the cost. And they also saw what is the proportional increase in the power generation, then they finally decided it is not working out. Friends, in the 70 years of the invention of the solar technology, not much effort has been put into to increase the productivity of the solar power generation using solar photovoltaic cells. Much is underlying in the tracker technologies. So we pledged ourselves in the development of a dual axis solar tracker, which was neglected by the entire world as an unviable proposition. Unviable proposition. So but we took up that unviable proposition. I do not know why and how. I still do not know because it all happened about 11, 12 years back. And it took almost nine years to bring it to a particular shape and bring it to reality. It ended up in 14 patents. And we also took the output 100% more than a fixed tilt solar power plant. It came into reality. Now we ran this prototype for two full years. We could see because you now one full year only when you run that, you will know whether it is exactly it does it give it or not. So that we did it. And now we have started <coughs> commercial production. Last year we displayed this product in Germany. Munich in the intersolar and it was a <coughs> very good uh, experience for us. We were rubbing shoulders with the top 10 tracker manufacturers in the world. But I just want to indicate 
all of them were single axis solar tracker we were the only dual axis solar tracker and we could display our stall was also very small thanks to our courage all of them were there in our stall they all had a good discussion and it has come to reality today the best part of it we could reduce the lcoe by 25% land area requirement per unit of power generation by 25% investment cost by 25% what is today what you are spending per megawatt that we are able to reduce which has never been in the history whenever you go in for a solar tracker the cost always goes up no one can believe how, how it will come down as some like that because of the productivity so i just take this as a case study thanks for the opportunity i <coughs> request him to play that uh, video which is self narrative at the end of it if you have any questions i'll be glad to answer you please <coughs> introducing the world's first horizontal dual axis solar tracker brought to you by Eason dual axis solar tracker invented by Dr S K Radhakrishnan our invention horizontal dual axis solar tracker is a game changer in the solar power generation Our revolutionary product, the horizontal dual axis solar tracker, has the remarkable potential to increase power generation by up to 100%. This achievement is unprecedented in the 90-year history of solar technology, and it can dramatically transform the solar industry. Our invention is a game changer, unparalleled and unmatched in the world. Join the revolution and be part of the future with our one-of-a-kind invention. It's important to note that the highest amount of solar power is generated when the sun's rays hit the solar panel perpendicularly. To achieve maximum power generation, solar trackers should be used to dynamically orient the solar panels so that they face the sun and receive the rays perpendicularly for most of the day and throughout the year. Our invention, the horizontal dual axis solar tracker, is designed and constructed on the horizontal primary dual axis solar tracker principle which is completely different from the existing unviable vertical primary dual axis solar tracker principle unlike the vertical dual axis solar tracker which tilts on a vertical primary axis our horizontal dual axis solar tracker tilts on a horizontal primary axis you are watching the movement of the sun for a specific latitude and longitude on earth Since the sun moves in both east-west and north-south directions for any location on earth, it is important to use a dual axis solar tracker for tracking the sun dynamically to receive the sun's rays perpendicular to the solar panel surface for most of the period in a day to generate the maximum power. Also to note, only 2 days in a year, the sun rises in the exact east and sets in the exact west. On all other days, the sun operates its movement within a band of 47 degrees in the northwest direction. We would like to introduce you to the different solar installation systems available in the market. This will enable you to understand and differentiate our unique horizontal dual axis solar tracker system from the other systems available in the world. The first and most primitive solar installation system is the fixed tilt system. In this system, the solar panel is mounted in a fixed position. The second system is the single axis solar tracker system. In this system, the tracker is designed to track the sun in the east-west directions only. Single axis solar tracker system is limited to generating up to a maximum of 30% additional power compared to an equivalent fixed tilt system. The third system, the vertical dual axis solar tracker, was introduced in the past but became unviable due to its limitations. Unfortunately, there are currently no dual axis solar trackers available in the market, even though it is essential to have dual axis solar trackers to harvest the maximum energy.
Our three inventions are horizontal dual axis solar tracker system, sunlight reflector assembly system, and cloud radar system. All three inventions in combination can increase the energy generation efficiency by a whopping 100%. Our first invention, Horizontal Dual Axis Solar Tracker System, is a real game changer in the market. It has two axes of tilting. The primary axis is horizontal and tilts in the east-west direction, while the secondary axis is perpendicular to the primary axis and tilts in the north-south direction. Each of our dual axis solar tracker row houses eight panels and is supported by five pillars. Every row is independent and controlled separately. We can add more trackers both in series and parallel to meet the required capacity. Our second invention, Sunlight Reflector Assembly, is an add-on frame with every single bifacial solar panel. Each bifacial panel is securely assembled inside the Sunlight Reflector Assembly frame. Our horizontal dual-axis solar tracker system can accommodate any size and any wattage capacity by facial panels. You are now seeing the sunlight reflector assembly frame with and without a bifacial solar panel. Each bifacial solar panel is assembled with one sunlight reflector assembly frame. Every sunlight reflector assembly has two reflective surfaces facing the bottom side of the bifacial panels. Whenever the direct sunlight falls on the top side of a bifacial solar panel, a portion of the sunlight also falls on the reflective surfaces of the sunlight reflector assembly frame. These reflective surfaces bounce the sunlight to the bottom of the bifacial solar panel, thereby increasing the intensity of the light at the bottom side. Also to be noted is, our sunlight reflectors do not obstruct any albedo reflected light that reaches the bottom side of the bifacial solar panels. Since the sunlight reflectors are assembled integrally with each bifacial solar panel, whenever the solar panel is tilted, the sunlight reflectors also tilted to continue to receive and reflect the direct sunlight towards the bottom side of the bifacial solar panel for the maximum period in a day and all through the year. Our third invention is the Cloud Radar System. The system is equipped with light detecting sensors mounted on its outer periphery along the X and Y axes. These sensors are capable of identifying the brightest spot in the sky and sharing its location with the central tracker control unit. The control unit then adjusts the tracker tilting accordingly. It is a common occurrence that when a cloud covers the sun, the nearby cloud receives direct sunlight and reflects brighter light than the spot where the sun was. To ensure that we get the best intensity of light, we use our cloud radar system to identify the brightest spot in the sky during cloud movement. Our cloud radar system uses an artificial intelligence system that locates the brightest spot in the sky, excluding the sun's position. It then shares this alternate location with the central tracker control, which changes the tilting angles of the dual-axis solar tracker to face the newly identified brightest spot in the sky. This process is repeated every 10 minutes to prevent loss of power generation due to clouds. Typically, a single cloud radar system is enough for every solar project. As you watch the video, our new invention the horizontal dual-axis solar tracker is in action. Each row of the tracker consists of a tracker frame housing eight bifacial solar panels mounted on five pillars. The tracker frame holding the panels is powered by two linear actuators, allowing it to tilt in an east-west direction along the horizontal primary axis. The eight panels within the frame are powered by two linear actuators, allowing it to gang tilt in the north-south direction along an axis that is normal to the horizontal primary axis. Both the east-west and north-south tilting movements are integrally tilted to track the sun to receive the sun rays perpendicular to the solar panel surface for the maximum period in a day and all through the year. Our unique, proprietary algorithm ensures that the tilting is specific to the location of the solar plant. To avoid shadows a free gap is maintained between successive panels. 
This same gap is also useful to allow the speedy wind to pass through and mitigate the wind force acting on the structure. The east-west tilting range is plus or minus 60 degrees, and the north-south tilting range is plus or minus 36 degrees. Remarkably, the total power consumption required to power the horizontal dual-axis solar tracker is less than 0.5% of the power generated. Additionally, during the night and heavy wind speeds, the east-west frame is maintained horizontally to offer the least resistance to the wind. The entire tracker system is powered by an independent power source backed up by an alternate source. All the bearings for the trackers are plastic self-lubricating bearings for a long life and no scheduled maintenance is required. All mechanical parts of our dual-axis solar trackers are covered by a 15-year manufacturing warranty and a 25-year performance warranty. All electrical and electronic parts of our dual-axis solar trackers are covered by a 5-year warranty. Now, you are watching the tilting activity of our horizontal dual-axis solar tracker, tracking the sun. At night, the tracking frame is in the horizontal position. As the day starts, the tilting activity starts. You may notice that the tilting of the solar panels is in the north-south directions and the tilting of the tracker frame integrally is in the east-west directions to track the sun dynamically, to receive the sun ray perpendicular to the panel surface for a maximum period in a day and all through the year. A comparison of the power generation curves between a fixed tilt system with monofacial panels and a horizontal dual-axis solar tracker system with bifacial panels. You would find a 100% additional power generation. The three components of additional power generation and how they aggregate to 100% additional power when compared to an equivalent fixed tilt solar plant are given for better understanding. Dual axis solar tracker with bifacial panels contributes 65%, the sunlight reflectors contribute 30%, and the cloud radar system contributes 5%. The levelized cost of energy, LCOE, is compared between various solar power plant systems. You would find a 25% lesser levelized cost of energy is achieved by our horizontal dual axis solar tracker over an equivalent fixed tilt system. Let's take a closer look at the factors that make our solar tracker system better insurable. Firstly, the gaps maintained between successive modules allow the speedy wind to pass through, and hence the wind force acting on the structure is considerably reduced. Secondly, since each module is independently tiltable, it prevents the stockpiling of snow or sand. Stockpiling not only reduces power generation, but also adds unnecessary weight to the structure. Thirdly, having one pillar for every 1.6 panels increases ground stability. Finally, the maximum height of our dual-axis solar tracker system at its peak tilt of 60 degrees is just 3 meters. When a structure is at a height of 3 meters from the ground level, the wind speed acting on it is minimal. This results in less wind force, which in turn improves safety. All these factors together guarantee better insurability for our system. The shorter tracker length of 16 meters and the shorter pillar pitch length of 4 meters contribute to better land utilization. 1. Fits in with any land geometry. 2. Accommodates with any land undulations in continuous rows. 3 accommodates with any land undulations within the tracker length. 4. Accommodates with any land slope in continuous rows. Now, let us look at the unique advantages of our horizontal dual-axis solar tracker. First, when a gust of wind zooms through an open space, it creates eddy currents that effectively whisk away the heat that maintains the lower panel temperature. Second, regardless of the terrain, the panels are always kept horizontal, and hence the design of maintaining the panel surface horizontally, while compromising with undulations in slope, ensures the highest power generation. Our horizontal dual-axis solar tracker can be deployed in most countries in the world. We can cover all the countries falling between 60 degrees north and 60 degrees south. Now, 
let us look at the exclusive features of a horizontal dual-axis solar tracker. Fully automatic. Proprietary algorithm. Hybrid tracker control system, open loop and closed loop. Artificial intelligence powered cloud radar system. Ready to assemble concept for easy erection. No scheduled maintenance needed. Our 10 years of research resulted in the successful completion of our three inventions with eight patents granted and six patents pending. The unmatchable advantages of our invention over a fixed tilt solar plant of the same power generation capacity are 1. The project cost is reduced by 25%. 2. The land area required is reduced by 25%. 3. The levelized cost of energy, LCOE, is reduced by 25%. 4. The payback period is reduced by 42%. 5. The internal rate of return, IRR, is increased by 40%. 6. The post repayment revenue is increased by 64% over a 25 year lifespan. 7. The capacity utilization factor is increased by 100%. All these advantages demonstrate better bankability of our horizontal dual-axis solar tracker. Awards won by our invention, horizontal dual-axis solar tracker system. 1. Received the best R&D and product development award from the Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and Tamil Nadu government. 2. Received the best invention in energy efficiency from the Indian Chamber of Commerce and the Ministry of Power Government of India. 3. Received the best innovation in energy efficiency from the Confederation of Indian Industries in the national level competition. 4. Received the Global Environment Award 2023 Platinum Category in Energy Efficiency, awarded by the Energy Efficiency Forum at the World Renewable Energy Technology Congress. It is estimated that 4,000 gigawatts of solar capacity will be installed worldwide by 2030 from now. Our groundbreaking invention has the potential to save the world in the following ways. We can save a staggering 1 trillion US dollars in solar investments. We can save up to 6 million acres of land. We need not produce 2,000 gigawatts solar panels to meet the 4,000 gigawatts target since our invention brings 100% additional power. By utilizing our invention, we can save the environment and boost the economy worldwide to contribute to a brighter and more sustainable future. Our invention, being the first of its kind and only one of its kind in the world, is a game changer, unparalleled and unmatched in the world. Request you all to join this revolution and be part of the future. Thank you. So, thank you. A big round of applause. And with that, we come to the end of the high-level keynote session one. And uh, indeed, uh, each of our speakers uh, brought a unique perspective.